Microsoft OneNote is a note-taking program. Think of it as a scrapbook that can hold a wide variety of content, including typed text, handwritten notes, pictures, screenshots, audio notes, and video clips. A OneNote file is structured like a traditional paper notebook, sort of like a digital version of the spiral five subject notebooks you may have used in school. The possibilities with OneNote are truly endless, but for this introductory session, we're going to be using OneNote to organize our recipes. So I'm using a desktop version on my PC um, of OneNote. And uh, what I've done so far is created a file and just called it recipes. So this is the empty file. Haven't done anything else except create it. And now what we're going to do is just sort of organize it, lay it out, and then we'll add the recipes, right? So um, uh, there are tabs along the top, so you may use these tabs uh, to organize your recipes, obviously. So I can just double click the tab it gives me originally and um, give it a name. So maybe this would be, for example, where you can put your appetizers. Maybe you have another section for vegetables. Etc. So you're just using the tabs along the top, for example, to organize that information. Okay. And then on a specific tab like this, you have your pages. So we have the tab called vegetables. I'm on my first page. And maybe this is where I'll be able to house, um, for example, some Brussels sprout recipes. Okay. So um, by giving the, the page a title, it has um, uh, listed that name over on the right, and this is the first page in my vegetables tab. And I can have any number of main pages and sub pages, etc. Um, so if you wanted to add another page, so obviously you could you could type your recipe in here. Okay. Um, you can go ahead and insert a recipe from a location, maybe a picture, maybe a, um, a screen grab, something along those lines. Uh, and and we'll, we'll talk about adding that content in just a little bit. Uh, if you start to, um, so if you have other kinds of recipes uh, in your vegetable tab that you want to organize, you'll come over here to add a page. This will give you an untitled page, and the way that you title the page is just by coming over here and um, typing in the name. Um, and you're able to sort of continue on in that fashion, just um, creating a tab. And within the tabs, you can add pages, and you can even have subpages. So, for example, um, if there was... Um, you know, multiple broccoli recipes that I had and, and I wanted to have them all on their own page. Uh, this might be the broccoli page for roasted broccoli. I can hit add a page and do, um, you know, sauteed broccoli or something along those lines, right? And uh, to make it sort of a sub page, you can just click and drag it a little bit to the right to sort of have it indented. So you have the main page broccoli, and then underneath it, you have the sauteed uh, broccoli recipes. Okay. So what you'll do is just lay out the tabs to help organize the kinds of recipes. And then within each tab, like we saw with our vegetables, you can have multiple pages. Okay. And what we're going to do next is just show you different ways to add the content. So while it's possible to go ahead and click inside of a OneNote notebook page and type the information, I'm sure the last thing you want to do is have to type out your whole library, right, of, of, of recipes, right? So luckily that is not necessarily something you have to do. Um, if you can take a picture, uh, if you can find it on a website, then you will be able to easily incorporate it, um, usually more than one way, uh, into your OneNote notebook. So for example, uh, I have a picture that I took of this particular um, recipe. I 
was out and I, I saw it somewhere. I thought it was great and I wanted to take a picture of it so that I could use it later. Well, if it's sitting on my phone, I'm less likely to really use it. But if I have it collected with all of my other recipes, then I'll know where to find it at all times. So you just come to the page and it's insert pictures and just go and find that uh, picture that you took and you can go ahead and keep it in here you can move it you can resize it that's the free form nature of these pages you can actually just pick them up and move them around resize them delete them whatever it is that makes sense for the way that you want to organize your cookbook here your your digital cookbook so and also another nice thing to remember is that um, unlike like your word documents your excel spreadsheets etc um, OneNote saves immediately, so you don't even see the save icon anywhere. It is um, continually and constantly saving um, the file as you add content to it. So that's one way that you can add content, and it is just to insert a picture. Um, some other things that you can do is uh, copy and paste it off a website. So let's take a look at that. I just saw a great um, recipe. Um, that I'm going to add to my vegetables tab in that Brussels sprouts page. It's out on the web, so I'm just going to jump out to the web. And one of the things that you can do is you can copy it, right? So here's the recipe. I can go ahead and click and drag to um, select this. H however much content you want, you can obviously just, like I said, click and drag to select it. Copy it. I'm doing control C. You can also right click and copy and then take yourself over into OneNote um, and paste it, right? So right click paste or control V and it will bring it across. It may bring up, uh, across some extra stuff as you can see here, the ad in the middle um, is there and maybe some extra links. You might wanna keep those links though because that will uh, help you get back to the specific recipe uh, if you wanted to. So another really awesome flexible way to add content into your OneNote notebooks is to use this idea of printing to OneNote. Um, so it works like this. I have um, on my vegetables tab, I have a page called squash and on it, I would like to put a recipe that I found out on the web or really anywhere. Here's what that recipe looks like. A lot of times recipe sites will have the print icon um, associated with them, right? So you're gonna be able to use that option but instead of printing to a regular printer, you're gonna use the print driver called send to OneNote, okay? And then print it and it will, it may go to the back, uh, which has been my experience. Yeah, uh, I just had to flip back into OneNote so that I could see this because what it needs to know is, well, what notebook and um, what uh, page, etc. So what I'm able to do then is just find the notebook, find the tab, vegetables, uh, and find the page, squash, and click on OK. And it will print, which is essentially doing either a screenshot, if you will, or um, you know, printing it to an image and putting that image there on your page. But it is a super seamless way to be able to incorporate a recipe from the web uh, into your OneNote notebook. So this is a great way to organize your recipes and have them and access them through your computer. But you don't always have your computer with you when you're at the store and need to find, the, find out what ingredients you need to make a specific recipe. So if you want, you can store your OneNote uh, notebook uh, on OneDrive. Uh, it's a, a cloud storage that Microsoft offers. It's free. And if you put your notebook uh, on OneDrive, then what will end up happening is if you have a mobile phone, an iPhone uh, or an Android, you can go ahead and get the OneNote app there and access the recipes um, fr from your mobile phone while you're standing there in the store trying to gather the ingredients. So it, in the event, um, if, if this is something you want to do, it's very easy to do. Just go ahead and start creating your file. And if at any point you want to put it in OneDrive, you can. Just on the File tab, you would be able to see the recipe or the notebook that you created. You would hit Settings, 
and share or move and you would put it in your OneDrive, right? Give your notebook a name. Let me just call this 2020 recipes. Okay, and move the notebook. And it'll sync with a new location. It also gives you an, um, the opportunity to share it with other folks via email. So if there are other folks you wanna share your recipes with, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so now if you don't have a OneDrive account, y y it's possible that you may have set one up um, and, and didn't even realize it. So for example, um, if you have Office 365, you most likely have a OneDrive account. If you set up a Windows computer recently, you may already have um, set this up. But if not, you just take yourself over to OneDrive and create an account. Like I said, it's free uh, and you'll be able to um, share the files across multiple locations. So on our mobile device, we'll just need to go into the OneNote app and sign in with the same OneNote email address and, and password that you used uh, on your desktop and you'll be able to go into that notebook. Um, so you could take that notebook with all of your recipes with you. See, I think we put some here. Um, here is our Brussels sprouts recipe, and we'll be able to have that with us as we go to the store. It'll have the ingredients, etc. So we'll be sure to pick everything up that we need. So this was a very quick introduction to organizing with OneNote, and while we used the example of a digital cookbook for the lesson, you can really use OneNote to organize just about anything.